for Harry and Alfie, right the day the country died. Today, again, it's another one about the Brexit thing. Um, these are recorded purely for Harry and Alfie's benefit in the future so they can look back. Um, if anything ever happens to me, then I want it documented what I had to say about stuff. Sometimes it'll be serious, sometimes it'll be tongue in cheek. Occasionally it might even be funny, we'll see. Anyway, as you can see from the tan, I'm back from Dubai. We went over there to uh, for a, a, an expo uh, selling more machines and stuff. We've got, I've got a laser machine that removes tattoos. I've just started removing mine. Um, the day the country died. Now, remember today's date, March the 21st. We are now officially not leaving next next year. What they've said is, that, that Theresa May, I never, I, I never, she's, she will go down in history as the worst prime minister we've ever had. Tre treachery beyond belief, absolutely beyond belief. But weirdly, everybody dislikes her for something she said yesterday. Everybody, even now, eventually, her own people are coming out because they now can smell blood. They now know it's over. It's all over for her. Um, it's over for you, May. Um, but she came out yesterday and said that um, it's not her fault, it's everybody else's fault. And everybody's going, like I say, even, even her own people are going, can't believe she said that. Can't believe she, oh, she said Because they, they can smell the blood and that she is gone, so they're all now thinking of their own jobs. Well, actually, I agree with her. And it, not very often you're going to hear, hear me agree with... Agree, I'm sorry if I'm pausing, I've got some idiot driver next to me. Um, now... They're saying, and it just makes me laugh, Labour, Lib, Lab, Con. Lib, Lab, Con. They're all as bad as each other. Every single one of them, Liberals, Labour, Conservative. Why don't anybody just come out and go, you know something, I agree with that, you've done well there. Oh, no, they've got to argue for arguing's sake. Now, what they're saying is that Theresa May should have said two and a half years ago, I don't know why they're saying two and a half years ago, because it's nearer, nearer three years ago, that we should have put it to Parliament then. We should have asked what everybody wanted back then. Because just because you're watching this from the future, looking back, what Theresa May's done this week and these last few weeks, she's, the time's been coming, has, has been pressing upon her. So she's now saying to all the MPs, what deal do we want? Now, you've got to remember, Theresa May never wanted Brexit. Never. So we've got someone who never wanted Brexit, negotiating Brexit. Is that insanity? So, and now she, she's putting it to the MPs. Labour, Labour wouldn't even come to the table, but now they are and uh, Emily Thornley and all those treacherous, treacherous, self, self-loathing, selfish, patronizing. I don't know, I just look at them. There's a film called Human Traffic in, in 1999. You need to watch it, you'll know what I'm trying to say. You just, I just look at people and you can see the, 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 the nastiness and you can just see it in them. It's almost like I've got separate glasses that enables me to see it where other people can't. Anyway. These people sit there, don't they? Easiest thing in the world to say, well, you know, you should have done this. And now they're saying, because you should have done it previously, she should have done this two and a half years ago. You should be talking to us now. You should have been talking to, her, to us two and a half years ago. Well, this is why I agree with Theresa May. You know, you know, she should have spoken to them two and a half years ago. What do you think they'd have said? <laughs> yeah, great idea, mate. We'll sign for that. Not a freaking chance. They'd have gone, hmm, we want to be in a custom union. We don't actually want to leave Europe. We would have been in exactly the same situation we're in now. It's insanity. The whole thing is crazy. Now, she's got this extension. Well, it, it's pretty much in the bag. Oh, four minutes up, so I'm going to wind it up now. It's pretty much in the bag. What are they going to be discussing in the next few weeks? What? More of the same, because nobody wants to leave. All the people who want to remain are running the show. It's insanity. The lunatics have taken over the asylum. It's official. <laughs> Wait for more updates. Ah, Later. Ah.